All right, today I'm going to show you how once you have your animals cut out, you should have three different layers. So I have my top layer with the most detail, my second and third layers that get bigger as we go with less detail. Once you have these cut out, then you are going to glue them onto your background. Now, one of the requirements of this assignment is that your background color and the most detailed color in the top layer of your animals should be complementary colors. So I have green, so therefore I need to have red. And I chose to have a dark red, even though I had a lighter green, I think that it um, creates a nice contrast. So now my job is to work on flipping these over because we want to glue on the parts that have the, the um, pencil on them. So we're going to flip them over and work from the back to the front. So I can see my pencil lines on this side. So this is the side I'm going to be adding the glue to. And then when I glue, remember, you want to open up your glue bottle and now nothing is happening. I twisted the orange part, but I can tell there is some dry glue. So I'm just going to peel that glue off. And then, oh, my glue is starting to come out. So now I'm all set. Just like before, you want to dot, dot. Not a lot. We don't want to use a whole lot of glue. This is going to, if you do, it could create some oozy goozy. So I'm doing some dots. I'm hardly pushing on the glue bottle at all. I'm letting gravity do the, some of the work. And I go all the way around. And I made sure that my glue dots were on the pencil line. Now I'm going to take this and flip it over. And this is going to kind of be how I situate where this goes by seeing where this first big one fits, okay? I press it down gently. None of my glue has spilled out, so I didn't use too much glue. And now I'm ready for my second color, the next smallest, so the purple. Again, I'll be gluing on the pencil side and flipping it over and putting it on top. Dot, dot, not a lot. I do have to press a little bit to get the glue coming out. This does not need to be a solid line. You do want to make sure you get at least one dot on all these little small parts. If you have small things that stick out, you want to get at least one dot around there. Then I pick this up. Again, the glue is on the pencil line so that I don't see this. And now this one I want to be a little more careful when I set it down so that it lines up a little bit better. Before I press it down completely, I kind of eyeball it. And then use my hand to rub. Oops. Okay, and finally, my last one. Again, I'm gluing on the pencil side. You can see a lot more pencil marks on this one. Dot, dot, not a lot. Making sure I get on this really small pointy part out here. And then I can flip it over. And put it down on top of the other one. Again, trying to eyeball it before I set it down completely so that I have equal spacing around the shapes. Press it down. And now I have my layers done. The next step would be to start cutting out shapes for the background. In the background, you want to use geometric shapes. And then if you're adding details onto the front, you would use organic shapes for those. 